the fin. Against, as you can see in green, Eric Mize of the Netherlands. World rank 134. And Vile, world rank 40, and really the talent of the Finnish man, undoubted 12-time winner on the Babington Europe circuit during his career. But yeah, I'm Mark Phelan, and alongside me, we've Dan Travers. We hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you may be. And of course, if you want to follow us or contact us on Twitter, hashtag SOGP, as many of you have been doing. And we look forward to your comments this week here at the Emirates. A little bit. So we have a little bit of the discussion going on at the moment in shuttles. Feel it a little bit. Unhappy with the speed of the shuttle. So we're going to have a little shuttle test. Not quite sure what the problem. I think Vile on that occasion thinks the shuttle was a little bit uh, unstable in the air. But certainly Lang's game yesterday would suggest that he is value for his top seed in this tournament. Very, very much a Jekyll and Hyde character. I've seen him play so well, and I'll never forget the match he played against Lee Chong Wei in, Olymp in the Olympics, where he should have and probably could have won that match. But then I've seen him play some horribly, horribly terrible badminton and go out in the first round almost disinterested. So uh, you never quite know what you get with Vile. But he looks to be on top of his game here, judging by his first round victory last night. Dan, have you much experience of watching Vele over the years? I love watching Vele because the one thing you can be assured of is it's going to be entertaining. Whether he plays well or poorly, it will be entertaining. And the rallies can certainly be very, very long. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I sometimes think his surname should be long. It should be Vele long. Yeah, for sure. So still little bit of discussion going on about the shuttles and uh I think the problem that Vili sees here is that, that they've gone off to get a slower speed and uh, they've come back and uh, I think he thinks the ones they've come back with are quicker of course some of this too just could be mind games <laughs> you would not know what Vili So I think we're ready to go. And again, two, two men, their first meeting at international level. Vile Lang, 37 in the world. Eric Mice, 134. And already... Vile starting his antics on court. <laughs> entertainment at his best. You know, and sometimes this is what we need in the game. We need a little bit of entertainment. Yeah, and that's why I love watching him. I think he is an entertainer. Yeah. He beat Fleming Quack of Denmark quite comfortably. Quack by no means a bad player. He's been playing very well on the circuit. 21-17, 21-15 in uh, the first round yesterday, of course, Grand Prix. First round, 64 draw. And Eric Mize had to expel little energy as his opponent, opponent Mohamed Misbun, had to retire while Eric was leading 11 6. So, if you can be fresher this early in a tournament, Eric will be the freshest. Yeah, 
Yeah, good change of pace from Vile. The stick smash down the line. Uh, and that, that for me is the way that players beat Vile is uh, they up the pace, changing the pace. Uh, Vile can play all day long. Uh, his control of the shuttle is fantastic. There isn't a shot he can't play, uh, and you'll see them all. Um, because he makes sure that he does play them all, no matter who he's playing. But if you're going to rally him, I don't think, uh, unless you're in superbly, superb condition, uh, just to rally him, uh, I think you have to try and smash through him and change the pace of the game. Beat, play some rallies and then up the pace where you're smashing and looking for the front and try and play quicker than Willie wants to play. I know Vile certainly has been working hard and keeping the pounds off in the last couple of months. Something that he does struggle with and he's quite openly admitted. And uh, it's a continuous struggle keeping the weight in check for the Finn. He has wonderful control of the shuttle and that, that's why I do enjoy watching him. The, the problem you've got is he never seems focused even in tight matches. He's looking round, he's watching what's going on in the next court, if someone makes a noise he has a look to see what that is yeah. but I, I've spoken to him about that particular thing on many occasions Vile, I ask, you know, you seem to get very distracted between points, he says I have to do that, I cannot focus continuously, I have to break my concentration and refocus again <laughs> that's what he says anyway Well, it's great when he, if he can do that. Uh, a lot of players just have to stay focused the entire time. Uh, if your focus goes, then it's gone. But uh, obviously he's done this from a very early age and is used to it. He, t he looks as if he's just come in off the street here uh, and he's just want a wee hit. Yeah. I think he, li he likes the showboat. We all, we all know that. But... Um I saw him play, I'll never forget a match he played at the Swedish International and it was the first time I ever saw Victor Axelsson play. Mm. Victor was still only 16 and the two guys went head to head but I saw them speaking in the practice hall beforehand and they had decided to play an entertaining match and it was ter thoroughly entertaining. Shirts off at the end and uh, I think that sums up Vile. Well, it he is a quality player, but there you just see him throwing his racket wildly into the air. Um, so I hope we see a good performance from him. Because even at this stage, you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, we're still wondering. It's 6-5, and mm -hmm. we're still wondering what we're going to get from him. Yeah. Certainly when you're opposing Vile, you really have to bring a new level of focus because it's so easy to get distracted by him. Absolutely, because he gives you the, uh, the impression that it doesn't matter to him at all. And uh, I can assure you it does matter. But he's just got that air about him that y you look and you think this guy doesn't care. But he cares a great deal about it. Yeah, you can see him talking to himself. I think he's trying to get him himself motivated. He knows he has to uh, take this up a level. I think he was arguing with himself there, and uh, I think he's w winning the argument now. So I think the match still really needs trying to find its rhythm, Dan. Uh, as you said, we still really don't know what we're getting in this game. What we are getting now is a few errors from Eric at the net. And it is quality. It doesn't look quality, just but it's Willie's demeanour. 
that, that makes the game look as if uh, it, it's just two guys playing it. Um, but there's quality shots being played, lovely net shots, uh, good deception there. And they're both athletes. Oh, yes, lovely angle cross court and that stick smash. Favourite shot of Eric Moyes for sure. Eric, of course, who's been very much independent of the Dutch system for a long time. Playing nice and high at the net there, Mice. Yeah, th I think that's because Vili is taking four backhands, and I think he's hit one, one or two clears, but predominantly he likes to play across from his backhand and keep the attack so that the Dutchman up the court there really hunting it. It was a good play from him. <laughs> Resolute defence again from the Dutch. Oh, yeah. Oh, just out. Yeah. I'd like to see a replay of that if we could. <laughs> It may well have been just out. I'm not mm. not sure, but uh, Vili influenced in the line judge Here we anyway. Go. Outside, yeah, I was out. Mm. Good call from the just line judge. Just in case there was any indecision. Mm -hmm. There you are. The last time Vili took a backhand, he knew the Dutch chap was up the court looking for it. So there he takes it, hits a backhand, and that hopefully will get him off the net for the next time he's to hit a backhand. Playing the mind games all the time, Billy, but very good to watch. Looking a little, little, just a tad frustrated maybe, Cl you know, hitting the racket off the bag. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we know him, we know him at this stage. A lot of this is mind games. Yeah, and I also don't know about his... He's got his both legs are strapped. He's got his calf or his ankle on his right leg and he's got his thigh on his left leg strapped. Uh, I don't know if he is carrying an injury. Uh, I presume he wouldn't do that if he didn't have something there. The worrying thing for me is that A2 is giving him information. <laughs> we should get A2 up here beside us, a little bit of commentary. <laughs> There you are, he's but first backhand back to the net there. Well, the thing about Vile, you know, he's he's comfortable in every aspect of the game. He really can technically really play all the shots and uh, it's really about his opponent breaking him mentally. If you can break him mentally, you can you can win a game easy. Yep. And I, I think there, uh, you're seeing his quality. He's just fantastic control of the shuttle, but the way he struts about the court, you think that he doesn't bother. And he is trying 100%. And he's got a beautiful touch on the net as well. Lovely control of the shuttle. And some power when he needs it. But that, that, that's the thing that I feel at the very highest level. He's perhaps not got the power that the top, the real top players have, but he's got everything else in the game. He's he's wonderful mover and great control of the shuttle. I don't know. You know, I've seen him. I, I've seen him match some top players in a power game. For me, physically, he doesn't have the conditioning to go mm. that final five points of a three-set game against the top players, where they can just keep churning it out. And, and, and keep churning out the points, you know, mm. and uh, and it's very, very difficult to go three long games that, let's say, extend into an hour and five or ten minutes mm. with his level of focus, the way it comes in and out. <laughs> yeah, you may well be right, Mark. He's still, still frustrated. He's still chatting away to himself there, and that gives hope to your opponent. When they see you in a little bit of turmoil like that. Oh, nice net from Eric Mice. 
Very nice, very early and simple. The shuttle not even out of his spin. You can see it here, lovely neck control. He seems to give the impression, Willie, it's if I can be bothered. But I'm, I'm sure he can, and uh, I don't know why he appears like that, but perhaps it's just his makeup. It's There, he's frustrated with himself again, speaking to himself. Yeah, Th that is top quality. It's so close to the line, uh, real quality smash. The replay and the smash right down the line, deep in the corner. He's played that the flick off the net, not high enough, and Eric Moyes took it far too early for him. fully expect Villy to win this game but he's making hard work of it at the moment and all credit to Eric Mize he's sticking in there and he's sticking to his task 16-17 uh, it can go anyway yeah I'm impressed I'm impressed with Eric the way uh, how he's sticking as you said sticking to his task but mentally and staying focused and not being distracted yeah you know? And that was a bad miss from Villy at the net there. That, that should have hit the court at least. Oh, a little bit of luck for er from Eric. Catching the net court. Very, very good play from him there. That, that's a lovely smash as well. A long smash. Close to the line. Out of Willie's reach. It's five in a he's row now from Ice. He's definitely not happy. Uh, don't know what it is with him at all today. Still hitting that shuttle as if he's insecure with the speed of the shuttle. It could well be that, Martin. I don't, there's definitely something bothering him. One thing you know for sure, this is tactical. Let's break the momentum of oh my yes. opponent. Yes. No. Eric Mice on screen. Switch back to Vile. A little bit of court maintenance from the Finn. Oh, that, that is just terrific control there. No, oh, lovely no. play from the Dutchman. Very, very good from Eric Mize, but uh, I think Villy didn't seem to go down for that shot all too well. And that's the first point in six for Villy Lang, breaking or trying to break the momentum of his opponent. Every point, a big point in this game. Well, he's certainly going for it anyway. Yeah. He does have the ability to, you know, that rapid change of acceleration. Mm. Going from this passive, uh, almost defensive play into an all-out attack. I think you might be right about the shuttles. He was gesturing to A2 there at something about the shuttle when he was lifting it. All of a sudden, a little bit of more purpose about the play of Villa Lang. Yep. It's game point for the Finn. Of course, Villa, the veteran now of two Olympic Games. Oh, 
Oh, that oh, was that a long way definitely out. Definitely out. Definitely out this, out the side. <sighs> Poor error, really, from from Eric Mice. You know, it, it was a long way wide that shuttle. But the up and down game that it was, it's Vila Lang who comes out on top, 21-19, 16 minutes played, and after being in a commanding position, it was a good fight back, really, from the Dutchman. Mentally, very tough, but uh, I wonder how that defeat in that game will affect him. Will he? Uh, how does he come back after really putting in, expending so much energy physically and mentally, and still coming out losing that first one, Dan? Well, I. I don't think he's at the same level at the moment as uh, Ville anyway. So I would, if I was coaching him, I'd just be saying to him, you're doing well, just keep doing what you're doing, keep him on court, learn for the experience, um, and do what you can. Uh, he's got a chance. You know you can win points against Ville. Uh, you've got 19 in the first. Let's see if you can take a set off him. And then who knows what the third would bring. But... The, the lad should be positive anyway because he's been playing well. It's always difficult with Villa. There's no rhythm to the game. He's breaking it up. He's complaining with, about the shuttles at the moment also. Um, I don't know if it's the speed or... Oh, they're spinning, I think. I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, I think that's the issue uh, uh -huh. because we saw... I saw. Oh, that's that's terrible, that one. Like, And that's a new shuttle straight out oh, of the box. Well, he's he's putting that away anyway. But uh, and that that does affect the most skillful player because and Villy is a skillful player, but uh, I still think he'll win. Uh, it's just he doesn't look too happy at the moment. Very very good from Eric Mize there. That that was a uh, lovely cross cut twice in the rally, and he took the the la latter one very early at the front of the court. Very talented lad, Villy. Controlling the shuttle and play, able to play so tight onto the net. Very, very good from Eric Moyes there. Uh, just using a change of pace to catch Willie just off balance there. Very good. One of the longer rallies we've had in this game. We're used to seeing Ville getting involved in long rallies. He likes to play them. He likes to draw his opponent into those long rallies. And almost, it almost becomes an exhibition. And uh, Eric, so far, resisting the temptation and, and sticking to his tactic. Ah, good play, Mice. Very good. Very good and deceptive. Ville was waiting on a, a firm push coming out there, a flat drive type thing, and uh, he just changed it at the last moment and played a soft cross to the net. But he's having difficulty controlling the shuttle. I think your right mark is definitely faster going away from us yeah. uh, where we're sitting, and uh, that's about the fourth shot that uh, Eric Moyes has lifted out the back. We're sitting, uh, just so people know, we're sitting behind Eric Moyes, so the shuttle certainly seems to be faster from the Dutchman over towards Ville Lang. There's not a whole lot in it, but it's even the smallest amount affects these top players. If I remember right, last year there was a big drift in this hall, so they certainly have controlled it somehow. And again there, Eric, overhitting the the lift off the net so he should be learning by now that he can't hit it the same way that he normally does and has to just take a little bit out the stroke
And if I was Vile, I would be playing to the front, pressing the front of the court and trying to force Eric to lift the shuttle because at the moment he's struggling to control his lifts. Change of coach now also for Vile. I think you what you'll find is Edu will disappear down to his girlfriend. Get her sir in the bottom court. It's a stop-start game, really, though, Dan. Uh, the, the rhythm, the f there's no real flow to mm. it. And, and that's what Vile does to you, and, and you said it yourself. Um, <laughs> there's no rhythm. You can't get any flow in your play. Uh, he's breaking it up. But it, he's, he's got such good control that you feel under pressure as well against him. It's, I, I don't know how he does it. I'd like to know the workings of his brain, that's for sure. I think there's many people in the Finnish Federation would like to know the workings of his brain, Dan. <laughs> character. Absolute character. That's a lovely smash there. A, a very steep angle from Eric Mai's cross court from round the head there. Yeah, you'll see it here again, hopefully, on the replay. Very steep, as you said. Oh, that certainly didn't come off the sweet spot of the racket. Yeah, Vila taking the power off with the stick smash down the backhand side. For accuracy and then so quick in, realising that his opponent was struggling to reach the shuttle, he knew that he couldn't lift it to the back. And just really hunting the front of the court very, very well. Interval lead again for Villa Lang. The effervescent Finn continuing to do what he does best, and that's entertained for sure, Dan. And uh, big task now for Eric. Lost the first. Disappointed to lose that first, of course, after coming back so well. And it's Villa who's in control. In control of the game, not necessarily in control of himself. But uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he's ever in control of himself. He would have to ask himself, is he in control? <laughs> Some wonderful shots in that rally alone there. Three terrific shots from Vile. But... Uh, I don't think Eric knows what to do. All you've got to do against something like Villa is keep in there. You've got to keep doing what you're doing. If you get the chance, hit down. Look for th any opening at all at the front of the court to get forward. Villa just going to the adjoining court to retrieve the shuttle. Scooping it off the court mid-rally between Scott Evans and the Malaysian on the adjoining court. Certainly you want to catch up with Vile wins this. I want to catch up with him after the game and ask him what was his problem with the shuttles just to just to find out. Because generally, you know, with this brand of shuttle you rarely get problems. Speed may be an issue, but it didn't seem to be a speed issue. I think if you see the control Vile has here. Uh, Eric is doing all of the work, all of the work. That was a good shot from Eric. Yeah, there. had Vile that struggling, but that was the first time Vile had to stretch in the rally. Yep. Longest rally of the match for sure. Something this is what Vile Lang loves to do rally it out. It was a mile out, Dan. Oh You're pointing down that line. It was a mile out, so far out the side for a quality player like Vile to you hit see that it there back on the was replay. To me. I think that was a question of the racket doing one thing and the mind doing something else.
the crowds continue to roll in here in the Emirates Arena. Of course, a lot of schools invited for this first full day of main round play. And come the weekend, the atmosphere here in this Emirates Arena, from what I remember last year, is electric, full house expected, I think. Again, another long rally. You know, it, do it doesn't look great, but it's lovely control of the shuttle. Right to the baseline, in at the front, moving his opponent round the court all the time, and then Eric making the mistake. Yeah. And as you said, Dan, it's Mice who's doing most of the work in those rallies. Oh. That was a poor shot from Vili there. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Well, not even that. Beautiful control there. He had a very deep lift and then so tight on the net, making Eric run the full diagonal. He's doing it again here. Oh, the block. His control of the shuttle is mm. superb. change of pace. See, he gives you the impression he's not trying, but then when you go to hit, he's putting all the effort he can into getting it back. He doesn't want to lose any rally. Yeah. He falls to the ground, of course, and stays down just to make sure he gets enough sweat on the court to warrant the, the, the line judge coming in to mop for a break. Well-deserved break, I think, for both men. A couple of long rallies. Yeah, you can see how hard that Eric is breathing there. You can see Vila Lang's win-loss record, and that's the reason why he's at number 40 in the world. Impressive. Yeah, and, and they're both fit lads. Uh, you have to be to play badminton at this level, but even there, it's the, the length of rally now is taken it out of them. Vili injecting a bit of pace into the game there. Up two smashes in the second one being a winner. Good net. Oh! Fantastic net shot from Eric Mines. He really had no right to play Super. that shot. No, no. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. And, and the children that are in here won't even uh, understand how hard you have to work to be able to move around the court the way these two players are doing. Yeah, these are certainly energy-sapping rallies right now. Energy-sapping rallies and lots of control on the shuttle. Now again, the stick smash, one of his favourite shots, feel it. And, and lovely movement just before it as well. He was shaping as if he was going round the head. Just jumped up there. You'll see it here. Yeah. Up, and then hit down. Then a shocking serve. And that's Villy. That's Villy. That's, yeah, those two points sort of sum him up in a, 
in five seconds. The brilliance of the stick smash. The shocking serve. Oh, another poor, poor shot in the fin. Having a look at the racket. <laughs> what's the what's the old saying? The workman, bad Never. workman blames the tools. Now he's no bad workman, but uh, certainly wasn't the tools fault on that occasion. Good few points this for Eric. Vila just appears to have dropped concentration just a little bit again in the last two points. Holding and playing the deceptive shot. Expect him to win this in two, Dan. Yes, yep. yes, absolutely. I, d I think the problem that you've got against somebody like Vila when you're a player of Eric's calibre is staying focused and having enough self-belief that you can continue to do what you want to do for as long as it takes because that's what he's saying to you with these long rallies he's out there for as long as it takes can you handle it so you've got to somehow break through that I think some of his facial expressions, he could be what they call a gunner if he wasn't a badminton player, Vile. <laughs> oh, great oh, net. That's a beautiful control of the shuttle again from him. Yeah, we've seen some good net from both players, to be fair, in this, in this match. We certainly have. And as I say, always a joy, and you know it's going to be entertaining, but I certainly wouldn't like to play against him. And that was out. But it's match point for the Finn. Five match points. Oh, trying a little, trying the almost impossible. <laughs> Eric Mai still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? I wish we could see his expression again after he hit that shot. Look, I'm not bothered. I'd yeah, it's entertainment. The trouble is he makes it look so easy and people who don't know how difficult it is think it must be easy to play. It's not. Uh, look, it's just... It's the uh, showboating now. <laughs> of Vile and He's drawing the else, error from his opponent. Else. Yeah, and a wry smile between both men. And eventually it's Eric Mice who has to concede. It's Vile Lang who's come through. And looking good, Vile, if he can just control these emotions. And uh, there were certainly some issues with the shuttle. We have no idea what it was, but still it's Lang who comes through 19 and 16 in two in 34 minutes. And looking good, Dan. He is looking good in it. You just saw Eric there doubled over, uh, hands on his knees. Uh, although it was only 34 minutes, it was 34 minutes and some very long rallies, so that takes it out of you. Um, but Willie's used to that, so I think he'll be fine for tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and although he wasn't happy with the shuttles, I don't know what the, the reason was, if it was just they were spinning. But uh, he's got wonderful control and uh, great to watch. I love seeing him in Scotland. So both players leave the court, as you can see. Our next match on court will be another men's singles. We'll be back shortly with a match between Lucas Clairbaugh of France and Lucas Schmidt of Germany.